Hi everyone, I want to cover this problem that I didn't reach in class today, which asks what value should I set v naught to so that this projectile hits the target at a range of 15 meters? So this projectile down here. We have an initial height of 5 meters and an angle of 60 degrees. So what we want is for our projectile to launch out of the cannon here and arc beautifully down so it hits the target. We're going to pick our origin down here at the base of the cannon, and if I do that, I have that the initial x position is equal to zero. My initial y position is the initial height, which is that five meters. I'm going to end up over here with my x going to be 15 meters, and my y is it's going to hit down here on the ground at the same level of the origin, so that's going to be zero. And if we do that, we can write down our kinematics equations. So we get that x, my final x, is equal to my initial x plus v naught cos theta times the time. That's a theta. We also have that the y coordinate is the initial height of that, that's specified in the problem, plus that initial launch, v naught sine theta t minus one-half g t squared. And so if we do both of these equations, we're going to have a strategy where we're going to eliminate the time variable from the top equation, plug it into the bottom, and then use that to solve for v naught. So if I go ahead and do that, I'm going to remember that my x naught here is going to be zero, and my y final is going to be zero from the criteria that we wrote out over here. And then I'm going to use this first equation up here, I'm going to call that equation one, and I'm going to solve equation one for the time. So if I do that, then we get that uh, the time is just x over v naught cos theta. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that up here into equation two. So if I take equation two and write that out with the substitution, we get that zero is equal to my initial height, y naught, plus v naught sine theta, that's just from the equation, and now I plug in this value up here for the time. So that's x over v naught cos theta, that's good, and then I plug that in up here for one half g t squared, I have to use the same value uh, for the time, one half g, and I'll go ahead and put this in here, x over v naught cos theta, whole thing, quantity squared. All right, at this point we need to do a fair bit of algebra, so we're going to say that zero is equal to y naught plus, here's where the magic starts to happen, we get that this v naught term cancels out, and that the sine theta over cos theta, I'm going to rewrite that as the tangent of theta. So if I do that, I have this term is now just x tan theta minus one half g x squared over v naught squared cos squared theta, where I've squared everything inside this bracket. So once I do that, I just have to solve for this v naught term. So we're going to push the term with the v naught in it over to the other side. So we'll get g x squared over 2 v naught squared cos squared theta. And I'm going to set that equal to y naught plus x tan theta. Now I need to get the v naught squared on one side of the equation by itself, so I'm going to multiply both sides by v naught squared. That'll cancel the thing down here. And then I'm going to divide both sides by this y naught plus x tan theta term. And this whole thing with the sum is a single term, so we say that that is y naught plus x tan theta. And if we do that, we get this miraculous cancellation. V naught squareds cancel, the sum term cancels, and we're left with v naught squared over here. So we get that piece, 
and that becomes v naught squared equals the final algebraic answer, which is gx squared all over 2 cos squared theta uh, times y plus x tan theta. Now we can take a square root and get our final answer in terms of algebra. That just puts a square root and I get to rewrite the exact same thing because that's fun. Cos squared theta, uh, y plus x tan theta. Got to close out my radical and now I'll do my actual substitution from the values that we have here. So g is the 9.81 meters per second squared. X is our target distance, that's 15 meters squared. I'm going to plug in and I'll get 2 times the cosine of 60 degrees, and that's quantity squared times, forgot a bracket, uh, 5 meters, that's the initial height, plus 15 meters times the tangent of 60 degrees. And if I close out my radical, and have some good quality private time with my calculator, I get that that's 11.93 meters per second. And it is left as an exercise to you to go and plug that into the simulation and see if you get the coveted three stars.